Good day. How is everyone today? Hello, CJ and CW. Good day. And uh, just to give you an update on Greg. Hello, Maria. Uh, Greg is doing well. He's, he's um, almost ready to do his half move. I call it the half move um, for his new job. A lot of people, like I said, shifting and moving into positions. Um, also, like to uh, pray for uh, Nick and Melody and Susie, um, some people who um, uh, are like struggling, doing their best, and also at the time seeking. So um, we pray for those souls. And um, we're going to continue with St. Catherine of Siena again this morning. Um, and uh, I have to do a little bit of tweaking, so uh, bear with me if I stutter a little bit. Um, but uh, again, Friday, free for all Friday, we're going to continue um, in two days. That's in two days. Uh, the uh, about the straw man and and uh, what that is. And we were just talking, um, Sister Jeannie and I, about the ability to um, become more autonomous from the systems that are in place to uh, basically steal our life. And they, these systems are designed to make us um, dependent and not independent. Um, certain dependence is okay, uh, obviously, um, but when we give over too much of our autonomy, um, we lose our ability to think and be free. And it's important that we regain that. Um, I believe that homeschooling or unschooling uh, allows more autonomy. Uh, and because when you're put into a, a school situation as a child, it becomes such a uh, an influence on how you you're supposed to behave um, that you give up a lot of your you know your being if you will so uh, consider that if you have children consider the sacrifice that would be appropriate um, for uh, homeschooling them yourself and or unschooling <laughs> We did a little bit of both, and uh, it's okay. Okay, that's the thing is there's this pressure out there that um, you know um, that you can't you can't do that. Uh, there's they won't be sociable, and that one I have to really chuckle about because uh, my children ended up being more confident and capable of socializing with their peers and adults than um, most all public school um, or regular schooled children. All right, so let's get started. I'm a little bit late, but I don't think I'm going to have a really long discussion today. So uh, let's get started with rising prayers. In nomine Dei Amatronam Nostrae Dei Misum Christmas Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. And by the way, it is Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. Let us place ourselves in the presence of the Trinitarian Theophany and in Catholic contemplation, humbly venerate the Divine Family. Most holy and venerable Trinitarian Theophany, one divine family, I believe that thou art here present. I venerate thee with the deepest humility. I render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thee. 
one thing I did want to mention um, that I made contact uh, with an old co-worker um, that where we were we were like uh, learning about new truths that were being revealed to us at the same time and you know we were bouncing things back and forth off of each other and then you know we fall away and we go our own ways and we progress and we do things but um their name uh, popped into my head yesterday and i said oh i haven't contacted them so i i did and of course it was at the right time again um where they were uh, at that point where it appears that they need to uh, be exposed, if you will, to the next truth. So if that ever happens to you, if somebody's name, you know, just pops into your head out of nowhere for no particular reason, it might be a good idea to, to contact them and um, uh, strike up a conversation. You just don't know what the intention is of the, the, the Trinitarian Theophany. So uh, we'll be continuing discussions and they may, um, I sent them uh, the mass link, may be um, watching. Okay. Oh, Trinitarian Theophany, I firmly, oh, relying on thine infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain the pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace and life everlasting through the merits of Dame Jesum Christum et Deum, Matronam Nostri. O Trinitarian Theophany, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for love of thee, and I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Let us thank the Trinitarian Theophany for the many graces that we receive and offer ourselves and our sufferings up to heaven and for the souls in purgatory. O Trinitarian Theophany, I most humbly thank thee for all the favors thou hast bestowed upon me to the present moment. It is again thanks to thy bounty that I should live to see this day, and I desire to employ it solely in thy service. I consecrate to thee all my thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings of this day. Sanctify them that there may be none that is not animated by thy love, or that would not tend to thy greater glory. Let us make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good, and let us beg of the Trinitarian Theophany, the graces which are necessary to us. O Trinitarian Theophany, thou knowest my weakness, and that I am unable to do anything good without the help of thy grace. Deny me not thy grace, proportionate to my necessities. Give me strength to avoid everything which thou forbiddest, to practice the good which thou hast commanded, and enable me patiently to bear all the trials which it may please thee to send me. O Dea Matronam Nostri, I place myself under thy protection. I throw myself with confidence into the arms of thy compassion. Be to me, O Mother of Mercy, my refuge in distress, my consolation in suffering, now and at the hour of my death. O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dei Amatronam Nostri, Dei Miesum Christum, Dei Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, O Most Holy Trinitarian Theophany, Dea Matronam Nostri, et Deum Iesum Christum, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. How they who are arrived at the aforesaid unitive state have the eye of their intellect illuminated by supernatural light infused by grace, and how it is better to go for counsel for the salvation of the soul to a humble and holy conscience than to a proud lettered man. With this light that is given to the eye of the intellect, um, Thomas Aquinas saw me, wherefore he acquired the light of much science. Also, St. Augustine, Jerome, and the doctors, and my saints.
Wherefore, I sent this light to illuminate the blind and coarse understanding, uplifting the eye of the intellect to know the truth. And I, acceptor of sacrifices, ravishing away from their darkness, give the light, not a natural light, but a supernatural, so that though in darkness they know the truth. Wherefore that, which at first appeared to be dark, now appears with the most perfect light, to the gross or subtle mind, and everyone receives according as he is capable or disposed to know me. For I do not despise dispositions. So thou seest that the eye of the intellect has received supernatural light, infused by grace, by which the doctors and saints knew light in darkness, and of darkness made light. Every one of those saints has had the illumination of this light according as he needed it for his salvation or that of others or for the exposition of holy tradition. The doctors of the holy science had it, expounding the doctrine of my truth, the preaching of the apostles and disciples, etc. The martyrs had it, declaring in their blood the most holy faith, the fruit and the treasure of the blood of Dame Jesum Christum. The virgins had it in the affection of charity and purity. To the obedient ones is declared by it the obedience of the word, Dame Jesum Christum, showing them the perfection of obedience, which shines in my truth, who for the obedience that I imposed upon him ran to the opprobrious death of the cross. This light is to be seen by the eye of the intellect and known the prophecies of the holy prophets by the same light and because <clears throat> of Deum Jesum Christum Okay, I'm going to have to skip a lot of this, so bear with me a minute. So this is one of those parts where they, um, I believe they edited and added in to her or her understanding at the time that she received these was uh, influenced into what was being said. Okay, but because those who have lost the supernatural light infused by grace, neither they neither see nor know my goodness, nor the grace of my servants. Wherefore, I say to thee that it is much better to go for counsel for the salvation of the soul to a holy and upright conscience than to a proud lettered man, learned in much science, because such a one can only offer what he has himself. And because of his darkness, it may appear to thee that from what he says, there is darkness. The contrary wilt thou find with my servants, because they offer the light that is in them with hunger and desire for the soul's salvation. This I have told thee, my sweetest daughter, that thou mightest know the perfection of this unitive state. When the eye of the intellect is ravished by the fire of my charity, in which charity is, it receives the supernatural light. With this light, the souls in the unitive state love me, because love follows the intellect, and the more it knows, the more it can love. Thus, the one feeds the other, 
and with this light they both arrive at the eternal vision of me, where they see and taste me in truth, the soul being separated from the body, as I told thee when I spoke to thee of the blissfulness that the soul received in me. This state is most excellent, when the soul, being yet in the mortal body, tastes bliss with the immortals, and oft times she arrives at so great a union that she scarcely knows whether she be in the body or out of it, and tastes the earnest money of eternal life, both because she is united with me and because, because her will is dead in Deum Jesum Christum by which death her union was made with me, and in no other way could she perfectly have done so. Therefore do they taste life eternal, deprived of the hell of their own will, which gives to man the earnest money of damnation, if he yield to it. How this devout soul seeks knowledge from God concerning the state and fruit of tears. Then this soul yearning with very great desire and rising as one intoxicated, both by the union which she had had with the Trinitarian Theophany and by what she had heard and tasted of the supreme and sweet truth, yearned with grief over the ignorance of creatures in that they do not know their benefactor or the affection of the love of the Trinitarian Theophany. And nevertheless, she had joy from the hope of the promise that the truth of the Trinitarian Theophany had made to her, teaching her way she was to direct her will and the other servants of the Trinitarian Theophany as well as herself, in order that he should do mercy to the world, and lifting up the eye of her intellect upon the sweet truth to whom she remained united, wishing to know somewhat of the aforesaid states of the soul of which the Trinitarian Theophany had spoken to her, and seeing that the soul passes through these states with tears, she wished to learn from the truth concerning the different kinds of tears, and how they came to be, and whence they proceeded, and the fruit that resulted from weeping. Wishing then to know this from the sweet, supreme, and first truth, as to the manner of being and reason of the aforesaid tears, and inasmuch as the truth cannot be learnt from any other and from the truth it's himself. And nothing can be learnt in the truth but what is seen by the eye of the intellect. She made her request for the truth. For it is necessary for him who is lifted with desire to learn the truth with the light of faith. Wherefore, knowing that she had not forgotten the teaching which the truth that is the Trinitarian Theophany had given her, that in no other way could she learn about the different states and fruits of tears, she rose out of herself, exceeding every limit of her nature with the greatness of her desire. And with the light of lively faith, she opened the eye of her intellect upon the eternal truth in whom she saw and knew the truth in the matter of her request. For the Trinitarian Theophany manifested it to her and condescending in his benignity to her burning desire, fulfilled her petition. Tomorrow we will begin how there are five kinds of tears. Very interesting. Deum obiscum, et quoque apote, oremus. O Trinitarian Theophany, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of thy servants and handmaids the remission of all their sins, that they may obtain by loving prayers the forgiveness which they have always desired. 
who liveth and reigneth with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Suscite de impatrum spiritum sanctum hoc amacalatum hostiam, quam ego indignus famalos tuus afedi tibi deum eum vivum et verum, prao in amidibidibus peccatis et offensionibus et negligentis meis, et promnibus circumstantibus, serapromnibus fidelibus catholicorum vivis atque de functis ut mihi edidis profetiet at salute. Deum qui fumenae substantia digni tope medibidit condivisi et medibidus reclamasti da nobis peruis atquae et vini mysterium eis divinitatis esse consortes qui humanitatis nostrae fieri dit nostres partecips. Deum Iesum Christum filium quiticum vivit et reinat. Humanitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Aferimus tibi Deum calicem salitaris tuum de bacantis clementium utucas feto divinae, maestatis tuae, pro nostra totis mundus salute, cum adori suavitatis ascendat. In spiritu humiditatis et in anamo contrito suscipiam arate Deum Iesum Christum, et sec fiet sacrificium nostrum ne casfetu tu horiei, u placia tibi Deum atronam nostrae Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Veni Santificator, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, et santificite plato pro secundo, et ac epere hoc sacrificium tuo sancto nomini praeparate. Suscite Sancta Trinita Sancto Blationum Concilia Terimus, amamono in passiones, resurrecciones et descensiones, Deum Iesum Christum. Et in honorem Deum Atronam Nostrae, et Papa Peter Sanctorum, et Istorum et Omnim Sanctorum, ut idis proficiet ad honorem nobis altam et salutem, et idi pro nobis intercede de dementem in caelis, quorum amore magimus in teeris peri in num crucem Deum Nostrum. Orate, ut meem equestrum sacrificium acceptabile fiat op Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Suscipiat Deum Iesum Christum, sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudem et gloriam nomini sui, ad utilitatem coque nostram, totusque ecclesiae suae sanctae. Deum obiscum, coque apotei, suum sum corda, ad amas a Deum, gracias ad amas Deum nostrum, dinum Christum est. Ite igi proclamitas in matere pate. Deum Matron Nostrae, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, Credem Iesum Christum Filium Tuum Deum Nostrae, Supplicis Rogamas et Petimus, Uti Accepta Habeas et Sanctificas, Haec Sanctam Sacrificium Irrigata, In primis quae tibi referimus, Pro Ecclesiam Tuam Sanctum Catholicam, Quam Patificare Custodiri Aronare, Et Regere di Medis Toto Viterarum Atque Catholicae, Memento Deum Famlorum Famron Cretorum, we pray for the sick and the suffering. We especially pray for Katie, Gage, Neil and our lively, Maria Josephina Mose, Mark Jr., Henry, Barbara and Benedict Santa Croce, Casey, Mr. Nobody, Anne Boltink, the Cantu and Duarte families, Michaela Malkarnan and family, Jenna, Lena, Lori, Aaron and family, Maria and the Lineweber family, the Cahill, Kendrick, Bosco, Nye, Tafor, Began, Wolf, and Kane families. We pray for Mr. Nobody to receive the funding and strength needed to complete the first Sede Vacantis Catholic Council Office and Monastery of Illinois. We pray for uh, Nick and Melody as well. We pray for an end to all governmental allowance or sanctioning of abortion, transgenderism, transhumanism, child trafficking, child abuse of any kind, anywhere, place, or time. We pray for the establishment of a Catholic monarchy with a sound Catholic system of labor, human value, and medium of exchange with no usury. We pray for courageous men to step forward as leaders of this Catholic society, take back their autonomy, and to uh, begin the steps of learning how to be a leader and to have courage. We ask for the conversion of all sinners trapped in a state of mortal sin, especially the ignorant. We pray for all harmful radiation waves to cease that are in our air, in the air and in our homes. 
to close down permanently um, all devices that create portals or gateways and um, that serve no purpose other than to uh, demean the creation of the Trinitarian Theophany. We ask that all people who are alone uh, not be uh, succumbed into the television, to turn it off, to pray your rosary, and to um, contemplate the Trinitarian Theophany. We ask that all quote-unquote gay marriage be banned, all pornography and the only fa fans platform be banned, that all all internet pornography be banned. We ask for a reversal of the feminist ideology and a return to godly femininity, and that the strength of family increase through the understanding of the roles of the family, as exampled by the Trinitarian Theophany. We ask that the satanic document of Vatican law that is the Jewish Talmud be destroyed, as well as Rome and the Vatican, and accept and recognize the authority of the Catholic Church to be in Portugal. We, block the, we ask you to block the passage of any so-called pandemic treaty by the WHO, any treaties by the WEF, or any rules. They have no authority over us, and we ask them to be dissolved and made to see how deceitful and dangerous they are to everyone. All these things we ask in accordance with the Trinitarian Theophany's holy and divine will. Et omnium circumstantium quorum tibi fides cornita est in nota de vozio. Proquibus tibi efferimus, verucutibi o frontoc sacrificium laudis. Proces vis omnibus pro redemptione animarum suarum. Pro spe salutis et egolamitatis suae, tibi quedredunt volta sua eterno deum vivo et vero. Comunicantes et mamonem venerantes in primis, gloriosa e semper de deum atronam nostrae. Et de deum Jesum Christum. Et veatorum materium tuorum patae sancta Petri, et sancti Luci, et sancti Iacinta, et sancti Francisco, et sancti Juan Diego. Et omnium sanctorum tuorum quorum meritis praecibusque cancedas ut in omnibus protectiones tuae muniam et exilio. Terein dum Christum Deum nostro. Quam oblationum te Deum patrum spiritum sanctum in omnibum consecratum acceptabile in que feceri de meris ut nobis corpum et sanguim fiat didictissimi filium tuum Deum Iesum Christum. Qui pridie quam patoreto recepet a panam in sancta sac o venerabilis manus suas, et erivatis oculis in caelum ate de patrum spiritum sanctum, su omnum nupatentem tibi gracias agens. Consecrabit, fregit didicui lumni sui dicens accipit de et mandacate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum. Simini modo posquam ceremonia est, aqui bien zer hunc pre clarum calicem et sancta saco honorabilis manus suas, item tibi gracias agens de patrum spiritum sanctum, quanto grave dedicui lumis sui dicens aqui pite et vivite ex omnes. Hic est enim calic sanguinis mei mysterium fidei, quae pro nobis et pro mutius effundetur in remission a peccatorum. Aequates cum pite peritis in nomo non facetis. Unde et memores deum nostra redui, sed plebs tua sancta istum Christum filium tuum deum nostrae.
Tam beati pensionis nec non et ep infelis rejectionis, sedet in caelos gloriosae ascensionis. Offerimus praeclare maestati tuae de tuis donis actatis, supra quae propitio axareno vutu respiceri digneris. Supplicaste ragamus de impartum spiritum sanctum ille hoc petere dominus tuum ut quod quod ex aqua paris participationes aqua sanctum deum filium tuum corpus et sanguinum semserimus omni sanctificatione caelestia gratia de pe amor perendum Christum deum nostrae. We pray for those who have died. We especially pray for August Bentz for whom this mass is being offered. Ipsis deum et omnibum in Christum quis centibum locum refigeri id luci se patis ut non rogei est de pracamor per inum Christum deum nostrum. Perquem hic omnia deum iesum Christum semper bona creas, santificas, vivivicas, consecratis et praestas novis. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso. Est tibi Deum Matrum Omnipotentium in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, omnis honor et gloria. Ave Deum Matrum Nostra, gratia plena Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Tecum. Dea matronam nostrae matronam Deum Iesum Christum misericordia nobis, peccatoribus nunc et honorum mortis nostrae. Libera nos quae simus Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum ab omnibus malis, prae teditis, prae sentibus et futuris, et intercedente beate gloriosa semper Deum matronam nostrae. Cum Papa Petrum Sanctonum et omnibus sanctis da propitius pactem indibus nostris, Utope misericordiae tuae aduiti et peccato, simus semper liberi et omni petepatione secori. Periendum Deum nostrum, Iesum Christum fidium tuum Deum nostrum. Qui tecum vivit et reinat in unitate diem patrum spiritum sanctum, per aeternam. Pax Deum, Iesum Christum, sit semper vobiscum et coque apotei. Aicum extio et consecratio corporis et sanguinis Deum, Iesum Christum, fiat equipientibus nobis in et salutem aeternam. Pax tecum et coque apotei. Deum Iesum Christum, qui ex voluntati Deum matronam nostrae, qua parante Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, per mortem tuam monum vivificasti, liberam e per octo acro sanctum corpus et sanctum tuam avonubus in igualitatibus meis, et una versis malis, et fac me tuis semper in harare mandatis, et ati num quam separari permitas, qui cum eo dem Deum Matronam Nostrae, et Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum, vivis et regnam eternam. Perque et Deo corporis tui Deum Iesum Christum, quod ego indignius sumere praesimo non mihi proveniat indidicium e condamnationem, sed pro tu pietate prosit mihi ad tu dementum mentis e corporis, et ad me delam percipiendam. Qui vivis et regnas cum Deum Matronam Nostrae in unitate Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. Panum Celestum Accipium, et Nomen Deum Iesum Christum Invocabo. Deum Matronam Nostrum Non Sundinius, et Intus et Peter Meus, in Tanti et Cura Deus, in Abitum Anum in Ea. Deum Iesum Christum Non Sundinius, et Intus et Peter Meus, in Tanti et Cura Deus, in Abitum Anum in Ea. Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum Non Sundinius, et intus et peter meus, in tanti de cura vos non tra anima mea. Corpus Deum nostrum Iesum Christum custodiet anima mea.
Vedro tu bom dem Jesum Christum. Romanibus quaero tu bud mihi. Catechem saitaris. Accipiam et nomen deum patrum spiritum sanctum in mocabo. Laudans in mocabo deum matronam nostrae. Et ab inimicis mei salvacero. Sanguis deum nostrum Jesum Christum custodiae tanum meam. Christum nostrum Jesum Christum custodia Domino tuum. Sum simos de mies in Christum pilum et decapiam a sepi muni de temporae fit nobis remedium sempiternum. Christum de mies in Christum. Quod somsie sanguis, quam potaevi, et heriad visceribus, meis apraista ut in menon remenia, scela macula quam pira sancta reficerum sacramenta. Deum obiscum, et quoque apote, oremus. May the prayer of the suppliants, prophet, the souls of thy servants and handmaids, we beseech thee, O Trinitarian Theophany, that thou mayest free them from all sins, and make them shares in thy redemption, who livest and reignest with thee, one Trinitarian Theophany, forever and ever. Deum obiscum, et quoque apote, ite mises, dem gratia. Gratia tibi sancta trinitam ab sacrum servititis mea et praesta ut sacrificium cor oculis tuae maestatis in minus alteri tibi sed acceptabile amico et omnibus proquibus idut opelicitum miseram pe propiciare le peccus mea nostra. Santificat vos omne patens Deum, matronam et filium et spiritum sanctum, Deum matronam nostra et Deum Iesum Christum, Deum patrum spiritum sanctum, gracias.
Almost holy Trinitarian Theophany, Deum Matronam Nostrae, Deum Jesum Crucem, Deum Patrum Spiritum Sanctum. I venerate thee profoundly, and I offer to thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Deum Jesum Christum present here in reparation for the act, outrages, sacrileges, and the difference by which he himself is offended. And through the merits, the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and inaccurate heart of Deum Matronam Nostrae, I beg of thee the conversion of sinners. And I believe, I venerate, I hope, and I beg of thee, and I love thee, and I beg of thee pardon for those who do not venerate, do not hope, do not believe, and do not love thee. In nomine Dei, Matronam Nostrae, Dei Mies, in Crucem, Dei, in Patrum, Spiritum, Sanctum. Gracias. Thank you all for attending. Hello, Denise. And, um... Any new subscribers, welcome. Um, I pray that you um, stick with it. <laughs> uh, it's not an easy road here sometimes when, um, when uh, we have to be deprogrammed, if you will. Um, but as St. Catherine of Siena says, um, don't always go to lettered men for your understanding. Okay, go to your conscience and pray Okay, contemplate and listen in quiet. Okay, um, d learn how to discern, and and then you can act on that um, that understanding. Of that because sometimes it's a feeling, sometimes it's an understanding or a st standing over. Um, we want to make sure we're not we're not um, using legalese here. All right, please go and sanctify all those who you meet. We'll see you uh, uh, tomorrow at 7.30, same time, and uh, have a great day.